Hello learners, in this video we will talk about how isolation and isolating mechanism works. So basically a species specific characters of newly emerged race or species is maintained by reproductive isolation. There are uh, many type of isolation such as uh, geographical isolation, behavioral isolation, all that. So uh, during the process of speciation, the diverging population must acquire some mean of isolation so that uh, the gene from one gene pool are prevented from uh, mixing into the foreign gene pool. So basically gene pool is the uh, total of all the gene present in the population. So in nutshell, uh, it helps, that is isolation helps in formation of new species. So this uh, reproductive, uh, we are in this lecture we are focusing only on the reproductive isolation and uh, reproductive isolation mechanisms. So basically uh, this reproductive isolating mechanisms can be categorized into pre-mating isolating mechanisms and post-mating isolating mechanisms. So we will talk first about pre-mating uh, isolating mechanisms. So this mechanism works before copulation either by preventing the mates come together or by mismatching the behavior like that. So in other words we can say uh, it checks the process of mating. So this uh, pre-mating isolating mechanism can be studied under four headings temporal isolation, ecological isolation, behavioral isolation and mechanical isolation. So first we talk about the temporal isolation. Now suppose individual of a species is diurnal and uh, of that other species is nocturnal. Then such type of isolation is temporal isolation. Here due to difference in their time of activity mating does not occur. For example, Rana Aurora and Rana Boili, two frog species inhibit the same area. But breeding season for Rana Aurora range from January to March, whereas for uh, Rana Boili, it range from March to May. N now next is the uh, ecological isolation. In ecological isolation, the population may occupy the same territory, but live in different habitat, so that uh, there is no chance of uh, mating. In India, both uh, lion and tiger exist and are capable of interbreeding. However, lion live in the grasslands and uh, the tiger live in the far forest. Another example is Anopheles mosquito. There are six species of uh, Anopheles mosquito and uh, these six species, uh, although they live in the um, damp, muddy damp places, but there is a difference in habitat. Some breed in brackish water, other in running water and still other in the stagnant water. And therefore, the chance of mating between the species get decreased. So this ecological, uh, ecological isolation basically works on the basis of habitat. Now next is the behavioral isolation or ethological isolation. So behavioral changes such as those involved in mating, foraging, and uh, migration can uh, generate reproductive barrier between the population. Birds in particular are known for their great diversity in this behavior and uh, so behavioral isolation is often proposed to be in the major driver of this speci speciation. In case of uh, Hyla cinerea and uh, Hyla andersoni, both are the tree frogs, the mating call uh, for the female is typically different and therefore female attracts toward the male of their own species. In another example, male fireflies signal to female of the same species by blinking their lights in a particular rhythm of their species and female respond only to that rhythm which belong to their own species. So this in this behavioral isolation, potential mate mates but choose member of their own species so here behavior is the barrier for mating between the species. The next uh, pre-mating mechanism is the mechanical isolation. In this case copulation uh, or mating is attempted but the transfer of sperm does not take place due to uh, some structural incompatibility of the sex organ. This, uh, this type of isolating mechanism can be observed in uh, Drosophila and Glossina. Glossina is also known as say say fly, uh, a well known vector for African sleeping sickness disease, where a structural difference between the genitals provide 
prevents hybridization between the individual of different species. Now after uh, pre-mating isolating mechanism, we will focus on the post-mating isolating mechanisms. So this post-mating isolating mechanisms uh, can be categorized as gametic incompatibility, zygotic immortality, uh, hybrid inviability, hybrid sterility and hybrid break breakdown. Now we will uh, understand them one by one. In gametic incompatibility, those sperm towns transfer takes place but eggs not get fertilized. Uh, it has been observed that after insemination, the sperm may get killed by unfavorable conditions of the reproductive tract, tract of that female and this may also due to harsh pH or temperature or sometime immunological reactions. Now next is the zygotic mortality. So in this case eggs get fertilized but uh, zygote fail to develop. So zygote under, uh, do not undergo developmental processes such as cleavage uh, etc. Uh, this may be caused due to several cytological, uh, genetical or uh, biochemical and we also can uh, we and we also can say physiological factor which include zygotic mortality. For example in uh, axolotl Ambistoma mexicanum, zygotic mortality uh, due to the absence of nucleolus formation and therefore zygote fails to undergo the cleavage. So in this case zygote forms but nucleolus fails to form uh, which results into failure of further development. In some plant like Datura, uh, it was observed that after formation of zygote, if this zygote maintain in artificial medium then viable seeds can be produced from them. Now next category is the hybrid inviability. In hybrid inviability, the hybrid embryo forms but uh, of uh, reduced viability. For example, uh, in case of uh, Rana Catesbiana and the green frog Rana Clamitians result in inviable embryo. The reason for uh, failing to develop the hybrid of a fully fertile species is perhaps that the interaction of the parental genes impairs the hybrid developmental or next category is the hybrid sterility now in hybrid sterility hybrid is viable but a resulting adult is sterile for instance inviable hybrid between the different species of drosophila and flies also between various species of mammals such as cattle cross with the yak which is known as zoo, cattle cross with the buffalo which is known as beefalo and the horse and zebra zors. So all these are the sterile animal means F1 hybrid is sterile and also a well known hybrid uh, of a horse and donkey which is known as mule which is robust but sterile. So now the la we are moving towards the last mechanism which is hybrid breakdown. So in hybrid hybrid breakdown, the first generation hybrid that is F1 generation hybrids are viable and fertile, but further hybrid that is uh, which belongs to F2 generation may be inviable or sterile. The classical example of uh, this hybrid breakdown can be provided by F1 hybrids of uh, Gossypium arboreum and uh, Gossypium herbaceum. So this uh, cotton family or uh, cotton species hybrid though F1 or F1 generation hybrids are viable but uh, the, when we cross them for the further generation that is for the F1, F2 generation then in F2 generation uh, the hybrids are the inviable or sterile. So all this uh, was about the uh, post mating isolating mechanism. So in this way isolation mechanism operates and helps in formation of uh, species that's all for now. I hope you understand the concept. If you have any problem, you can ask me in the connect comment section.